Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, I will share or I will show you some of the ClickSense logical function. Actually, there are three. And uh, why they are important is because the output that they give you and uh, you need to be aware what kind of output it is to further evaluate it in your uh, either in the script or in the front end expression of a chart so the first one i have is the is num and within that it takes expression and uh, it basically returns minus one that's not a dash it's minus one that means true if the expression can be interpreted as a number otherwise zero next i have is the is text very similar to is num again it returns the minus one which is true if the expression can be interpreted as text otherwise zero now if you generally have seen in other programming languages they have been returning the one and zero one for true and uh, zero for false but here this is the difference that's why i specifically wanted to create a separate video for to show you this so that uh, you are not confused when you are uh, using it in the front end and trying to understand why it is not giving you so that's that's a predefined settings that's how click is basically giving the output in case if the function is returning true finally you have the null again it returns minus one that means true if the value of the expression is null otherwise zero so all in all these are the three logical function that you will find in the click sense that you can use either in the script editor or in the expression editor that means in the front end for the evaluation of expression whether it is number text or null that's pretty much it i wanted to talk or i want to share in this video and i will meet you in the new video with the new topic